This is News Always On. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo arrived in South Korea Wednesday following the North Korea-United States summit in Singapore to meet with South Korean President Moon Jae-in in Seoul. The summit between U.S. President Donald Trump and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un and its results would have been top of the agenda for Thursday's meeting. He's defending Trump's tweet just after returning from Singapore in which he said the world can, quote, sleep well tonight and that there is no longer a nuclear threat from North Korea. He said the president's comment about North Korea no longer posing a nuclear threat was made with eyes wide open. Pompeo is pushing back on a report from North Korean official state media that said Trump and Kim Jong-un has agreed to a step-by-step process that was interpreted as meaning the U.S. would grant concessions to North Korea concessions along the way despite long-standing U.S. insistence that it would not. Pompeo says Trump has been, quote, incredibly clear about the sequencing of the process. He also had individual meetings with South Korean foreign minister and Japanese foreign minister, as well as a trilateral meeting between all three parties. South Korean foreign minister spoke on Thursday of an expectation of substantial progress in the denuclearization process on the part of North Korea. He said, quote, The three of us welcome the adoption of the joint statement in Singapore where Chairman Kim reaffirmed his firm and unwavering commitment to the complete denuclearization of the peninsula, while President Trump committed to provide North Korea with security guarantees. We share our understanding that the June 12 summit is not the end, but a new beginning. We also hope that this process spells out more concrete picture of a brighter and more prosperous future for North Korea. Japanese Foreign Minister Taro Kono also said he thinks that it's only the beginning of a challenging yet significant process to achieve their common goal, and that is peace and stability in the region and beyond. Quote, Through North Korea's complete, verifiable and irreversible dismantlement of our weapons of mass destruction and ballistic missiles of our ranges. Following the meetings in Seoul, Pompeo is due to fly to Beijing to update the Chinese government with regard to Tuesday's historic summit. For more news updates, subscribe to our channel.